During cremation rituals, the ashes of the dead are spread upon the sea. Dispersal of the ashes is but a small part of the ritual surrounding death, a ritual which may take months to complete. The entire community is mobilized for this task. It may take thousands of man hours to send one soul on its way properly. For the Balinese, Death is a joyful transition back into the spirit world from which all life springs. And consequently, cremation is a time of celebration. The men build the necessary structures. Here they're working on the sarcophagus, or coffin, called the patulangan. This is built in the form of a deer or bull, a winged lion, or other creature as determined by the caste of the deceased. Upon death, the body is buried, awaiting an auspicious day for cremation. Most often, only bones will survive this period of waiting in the tropical soil. The patulangan, with the body inside, will be burned along with other structures built for the occasion. The body of the deceased is considered an empty container and is a burden on everyone until properly disposed of. The home, the family, and even the village is considered unclean until these rites have been performed. The women prepare food and offerings for the complex of ceremonies ahead. Where ancestor worship is practiced, death is a step toward greater esteem, and with reincarnation expected, death is like a marker between chapters often a welcome liberation from the decrepitude of old age. A complex of procedures that prepare the soul to move on in its evolvement do much to blunt the pain of loss. The anointed body is carried to the cremation in these structures of dimensions suited to the person's caste and station in life. The cremation is attended in ordinary street clothes and the mood is festive and tumultuous. During the series of rites, the soul is invited out of the body and into effigies, which are honored and shown great respect. The earthly remains, however, are not treated with as much dignity. In this procession, the participants behave in an excited and disorderly fashion. They call this remain, and they do it to evade negative spirits and to create the mood they wish to project. A great deal of holy water is used during a cremation. The use of holy water and its importance has been such that the Balinese call their religion a gamma tirta, or science of holy water. On this auspicious day, hundreds may go up in flames together, enjoying the benefits of shared costs and increased splendor. The body has lost most of its significance now. The soul, released from its attraction to the body, is free to join the spirits in the heavens above the holy mountains. Finally, the ashes are given to the sea. <laughs> 